Hi, this is Martin Meyer from The Foundry, and in today's Workflow Wednesday session, I would like to show you a little bit of Python. I would like to show you a script that will allow you to color your notes or read notes specifically uh, based on what file extension uh, they're using to easily identify whether it's Targa, JPEG, EXR, PNG, or whatever else might be coming into your script. Uh, we'll be using the file extension, but this can be really any node property, uh, so you can color your nodes based on any condition that you would like to visualize in your scripts. So to start working with Python inside of Nuke, the first thing we need to do in the script editor inside of Nuke, I just went to my workspace and changed it to scripting. And this is what I get. I have also four, sorry, five uh, read nodes, each of them representing one of the possible file formats that we'd like to colorize. So the first thing that we need to do when starting to work with Python inside of Nuke, we need to import the uh, Nuke module. So this by itself won't do anything, but will allow us to use uh, all the functions within the module to process our data. Next thing, I would like to create a dictionary that will um, essentially set the colors for individual file types that I might have inside of the comp. So I will just paste it here. And what I'm essentially saying is that the JPEG should have the red color, 1001, these are RGB values. The PNG should have the green color, again, RGB and the EXR should have blue color, and then the combination for DPX and Targa. Of course, this can be extended by adding additional file types into the dictionary. Next thing we need is to find all the read nodes. So I will create a loop, and this will iterate through all the Nuke nodes in there, and um, I will then find all the read nodes by using the if class so we're looking for a class of the node and it's a read node this can be of course replaced by any other node type or class writes uh, constants whatever you might be using so as we are iterating through all the nodes inside of your script uh, we are filtering them by their class which is read uh, so only whatever follows here will be only applicable to the read nodes to test this, I can place print a in there, and they will print the value of the a variable. So let's run this and let's see what we get. Here we get quite a few interesting things. So first of all, we can tell that there is only five stacks here, uh, and it ignored the merge as we told it to, so that works. And also we get interesting things like file type, file, uh, the actual file and a lot of properties that are actually residing on the nodes, so they can be found all in this section. So uh, we can use this further down. So first thing, let's make sure that we can only filter the file type and learn only about the file type itself. So if I, instead of printing just A, I will ask for the key value, for the value of the key file type, this is another dictionary, um, the syntax here is a, the name of the property or the key, and then we are asking for its value. If I run this, I'll get the result here, which is dpx, targa, jpeg, and png, and exr. So now we know the file types for every node that we are running through. So now, now that we know the file type value for each read node, I went ahead and adjusted my file types storage to match whatever the file type is outputting. So we have a JPEG, PNG, EXR, DPX, and Targa, and I removed the dots. Confirm, I'll run it one more time, and here we have DPX, Targa, JPEG, and PNG. So now I can compare whether my uh, file types are matching the, this value. So we need to loop over all the keys in my file types. We'll use for that for loop. And uh, so I'm looping through the file type keys, which are these guys, storing the value in my file type, and then I can compare and use the if statement whether those two things are matching. So let's just go here and let's rearrange the user interface a little. So I'm asking if my file type, which is either JPEG, PNG, EXR, or R5, since I'm looping over this um, dictionary, is the same as the file type. In that case, print that it has been found. Let's 
clear this and now I will erase this test here and just run this here. So what we get is, I'll just copy it back because I accidentally, we will get five found, so it found DPX, it found Targa, it found JPEG, it found PNG and it found AXR. So we know that this works. So now we are really getting towards the home stretch here. So there is a section that I prepared uh, because we need to convert the values, the RGB values that are coming from our dictionary to hexadecimal. That's what the colors on the nodes are accepting. So just copy paste this definition. This can be directly reused. So I'm creating a new definition, which is a Python function, calling it set tile color. It will be expecting the node the, to operate on and also the RGB value. And then I'm converting the RGB value in this line, which is this is sort of the workhorse of that definition, to hexadecimal values. So I'm multiplying the red channel, green channel and blue channel by 255. And then this converts it to hex. So I'll get back the hexadecimal value that I can use on my nodes. And the last thing, it will actually take the node that's coming in, which is this one, and directly here it will take its knob called tile color and it will set the value from here. So the last line that we'll need to add to our script is just the line that utilizes the definition on per node basis as it's looping through every read node. So this is it. Um, it's actually running the definition. It takes or it passes is the node to operate on. So that is our A node. And it actually picks up its name. Uh, it gets the value of the name parameter channel and passes it to the definition. Then it takes the RGB. It extracts the, the value from every key that it's running on and it passes it to the RGB. So when I run this, I'll get my nodes nicely colored based on the values that are provided based on the file, file extensions or the file types. Hopefully you find it useful and happy comping!